the lady should go and learn hard work no matter what hard work pays the prostitution is hard there are so many risks in it my name is Poluwa Kemi and I'm the owner of Philly Scott's Barber Shop you know, I, I work with a private firm Continental Transport Technique and I'm a single mom I have two lovely kids Far back, I think about uh, six or seven years ago, I actually think of something that, oh, to add to my work so that I, that would be an extra income for me. I just love everything about men. I don't like attachments, not because I'm carrying a low coat anyway, you know, but I love everything about men. Before I do sales, male stuff, like shirts, boxers, sneakers, like that. But there was a day I went to one uh, barbing salon to have my hair cut, and I met one Yoruba guy there. I was just, the way he was just doing it, I just love it. I said, oh no, I just love this. I'm going to learn it and I'll have my own shop. Initially, it was not so that easy because I have to take my kids, I have to go to work, take my kids to school, then from there, pick them back, then go to a barber shop for learning. So it, it was not an easy task, but in my office, I was so lucky I have a good uh, boss then. So by 12.31, I was say, oh God, please, I need to go for my training. I said, okay, if look at it, that's what you want. So he has been... So supportive when he was oh, with us. So that's how I started. I enrolled myself. I just love everything about men, you know. So that's how I started. It was I, along the line. There are so many challenges which I want to quit because of the embarrassment from the customer. So we say, no, don't touch me. Man, women don't touch me. This and that. Oh, I will feel bad. And then my boss will look at my face and say, look at forget it just be focused so it was there to encourage me and 2020 no 2020 yes 2020 during that coronavirus when everybody was complaining oh things are hard things are these it was a good year for me it was the year i was able to you know put myself together gather money even when we are home i was able to gather money together at least when i started this place I spent nothing less than 1.7. Just only this small stuff you are seeing here, plus the rentage. You know, so it was a good year for me, honestly. So that's how I started. And my kids have been so wonderful. They've been so supportive. Sometimes there was a day I cried because I left the, the barber shop at about 6 before I could get to Estate Gate, I met my kids, they were on the floor, they came back, someone, someone helped me to pick them from school. So when I got home, I met them on the floor, they slept, no food, nothing, nothing, I started crying, I said, what kind of life is this? So I woke them up, I have to rush down to the kitchen, prepare something, and I said, the food is ready. Then my son said, oh, mom, why, why did you come so late? I said, I'm sorry, you know, I just have to get this thing done. But today, they are the one enjoying it. At least I have two income for my office. Then, though normally I'm not always here because of my job, you know, but fast from two o'clock to eight, I'm here. But on Saturday, which is weekend, I'm always here from eight a.m. to maybe ten or ten p.m. I'm always here because there are some customers they always want me to how to cut them by myself, you know, so I, I, I just have to be here. And someone will call me, I will leave my office, I'll rush down to this place. So I have a brother that also, you know, work with me here. I will, even my, my own boss, that one doesn't talk at all. He will tell you that, oh, just keep looking. When you get to a state, the spirit will enter you and then you, you will get it. You know, it's not the talking time. When you ask questions, you doesn't answer, especially when it's, when he's doing his stuff. Sometimes even I sometimes I bribe them because they don't even want you to know. They don't want you to catch up. 
they will just keep telling you, yes, stand, be watching, watching me, just watch the way I do it. You know, sometimes when they are holding a clipper, let me show you something. When they are holding a clipper, when you are trying to adjust the clipper, before you know it, they will just quickly do it. So you will not see what they are doing. It, it, was, it was not easy. Sometimes I volunteer to buy them lunch. I buy them drinks. When they are done, I buy them drugs. Just for them to, you know, impart that knowledge into me. So it was so difficult. But when I left that place, I went somewhere else. Because the place is a big, is a big place. And for big boys. So the majority of them that comes there, they will tell you, that, oh no, she's an apprentice. Oh, don't touch my hair. Oh, don't spoil. I don't want you to spoil my hair. You know, stuff like that. There was one incident, one man is a chief, and the man came, and I was not ready to do that for him. I was just preparing him for my boss to come and, you know, do his thing. And he said, please don't touch me. I felt bad, and I said, I, I don't, I'm just preparing you for my boss to come. So it's not me that I'm going to do it. And then when he finished, then he looked at me, he called his son, he said, give that woman 500 naira. So, so I felt bad. I was like, and I look at my boss's eyes. I said, he said I should take it. So because of him, I collected the money. It's not that maybe I'm hungry. That's the reason. It's just something I have the passion for, you know. So I felt so bad. And some encouraged me. I have one elderly man like that. That one uses blade. In fact, when I come, he say, oh, for look at my baba. Oh, yeah, yeah, come, let's do that stuff. And when he's painting, you say, Oh, if you look at small, small, you know, my, my, my head is, is soft now. You know, it, it's always there for me, but not all. And what there are some guys, some guys will say, Oh, it's that lady. Some like female, female baba to have their hair cut. You know, it's, 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 it's not bad. So far, so good. I enjoy doing it. It's, it's fun. It's fun. And now my, my son, my, my son is 13. Uh, they are on holiday now. I've enrolled him to go and learn how to bab, but not in my show. The reason is that he won't be able to catch up. No, because of my own past experience, I have to pay money for him to go somewhere else and get it done. You understand? Even the boy that is working with me cannot impart that knowledge in him because he will see that one finish. You understand? So it's better for me to say, okay, go get this somewhere else and at the end of it then you'll be collecting your own money that's just it so it's small you know hand work pays that's one thing about the hand work even if i leave it's like you driving a car and there's no car anymore but anytime you have an opportunity to drive a car you still know how to do it so that's one thing about the hand work Sometimes it's rosy, sometimes you know, patronage is low, but I don't get discouraged because I'm not the only baba. At least along this road, we have up to like, like uh, five babas, you know. But my own customer, they still look for me, they still patronize us. That is it. The reason why I want my, my soul to know how to bab is because hard work pays. Anyway, any day, anytime. He's in GS3 now, but by the time when he will enter university, he must be a very good, a professional barber. That will assist him while he's in, while he's in school, you know, without being calling me all the time to bring money. So hard work pays. There's nothing like, you know, hard work. I love it. Though in my family, my, my elder brother, my late elder brother used to be a barber. You understand? So... When I was very young, I used to go to his shop and I would sit down with him. Maybe it's part of it, but I just love male stuff. I love things. I don't like attachment. I don't like you coming into my shop and then all these things will be... No, I don't like it. No. Even when I told my younger sister that I want to go and learn how to bar, they were all... They were just laughing. So you want to learn how to bar. I mean, you want to take over from uh, our late uh, brother. I said, well, I just like it. It's something I love to do. If five or six girls can come together, learn like this barbing of a thing, you know, they, will, they will go far. 
because a lot of big guys in town just make it oh it's women's world a lot of guys will patronize them but just because they don't want to do it because they just they don't want to do it that's does it i believe that they are lazy they want quick money and there's nothing like quick money you just have to you know work for it even the job the prostitution is hard there are so many risks in it so i think that that's what they choose they just choose that way that is it there are so many hand work that you can do that you can you know take care of yourself and pay your bills if the ladies can come into it not only barbie even mechanic electrician stuff like that the one you like is that like maybe someone forces you to do something and then at the end of it there will be no results but whatever you like to do you go into it instead of you know displaying yourself out there to the risk